four decades, JF Brennan Company has dredged contaminated sediments and pumped them into geotextile tubes. Geotextile tubes offer the ability to contain organics, fine silts, and clays cost-effectively without the need for filter presses or centrifuges. Tubes also offer the ability to dewater sediment while keeping it isolated from the environment until final disposal. The entire process begins with the mobilization of the dredge. The next step is putting together the pipeline. 40-foot pieces of HDPE pipe are put together using heat in a process called heat fusion or butt welding. Once several pieces are put together in a string, the pipe is pressure tested to ensure all the seams are tight. Your textile tubes require an area to drain or dewatering pad that will allow tubes to be laid out and operated. The size and construction of the pad would depend on the volume of the material being dewatered. To reduce the size of the pad, the tubes can also be stacked. A dewatering pad consists of a liner that may be covered with a layer of stone to collect the water once it leaves the tubes. The type of liner and thickness would depend on the site conditions and the type of contaminants in the sediment. The pad is built with berms around the perimeter at a slight grade or slope where the water can be collected in either a sump or large detention and clarification basin. If contaminated sediments are being dewatered, a water treatment system can be incorporated to collect and treat the water to meet discharge requirements. Once the dewatering pad is complete, a header system is constructed. This header will convey the water and sediment from the dredge and distribute it between the tubes on the dewatering pad. As part of the evaluation process, sediment is tested to evaluate the need for chemicals or flocking agents. Selection of the proper chemical will assist in the dewatering process by binding small particles together, making them easier to collect in the tubes and allow the water to be released. The agents are mixed and injected into the header system, allowing it to blend into dredged slurry before it reaches the bag. Once the material has been dewatered, there are a number of options available for dealing with sediment. It can be removed from the tubes, placed into trucks, and taken to the approved disposal site. If the material has to be amended to meet specific requirements for acceptance due to contaminant or disposal requirements, the tubes can be opened and the sediment can be mixed with an amendment such as Portland cement. We can also help you develop the dewatering pad as a final disposal location. Sediment will stay inside the geotextile tubes. The geotextile tubes then become the final resting place as a confined landfill. For more information, please visit jfbrennan.com.